This video will show you how to embed a Google slide presentation on a LibGuide. This is very similar to the gallery box that LibGuides provides, but it might be a little more user friendly if you're more comfortable using Google Slides. Here's a great example from Kruger's web page. A librarian has created a tutorial for OverDrive. So as you can see, it's progressing automatically, but your viewer can also go at their own pace. They can pause, they can go back, and they can navigate on their own. Another little feature is this little red laser pointer. It's kind of fun. But I think the best feature about the Google Slides is that you can open it up to full size. So that's something that is a, a advantage over the gallery box. So the first thing that you'll need to do is create a slideshow. And if that is something new for you, there are many YouTube videos that can help you create a simple slideshow. I'm going to use the slideshow that I created this spring and I'll be putting it onto a page of a test guide that is unpublished. So I'm going to get the embed code for my slideshow by clicking on file and then click publish to the web. So you want to click on embed and here it gives me some options. I can pick the size of my slideshow and how the slides advance. I'm going to choose small because I've looked through the choices and that is the one that looks the best in the LibGuide box. And then I'm going to adjust this to every second. I also want to go ahead and click these boxes. I want the this, this slideshow to start as soon as the page loads and I want it to restart as soon as the last slide is done. So here I'm just going to click copy and get the embed code and I'm going to go into my guide. I already have my page and my box so I'll click on add reorder and go to media widget and just paste in the embed code. and I will save it. You can easily go back to your slideshow and change these settings if you're not happy with the way it looks. It's really easy and then just get the new embed code. That's all there is to it.